Welcome everybody and thank you for being here today. This is your weekly love message for week commencing Monday the 11th of October through to Sunday the 17th of October 2021. On the left hand side will be your crowning message cards and on the right hand side will be your crowning wisdom message cards. So let's go ahead and see what uh, the overarching crowning message is for the collective out there for the week ahead. With regards to the channeled message that I picked up, um, uh, what I'm picking up that there's some sort of disappointment or some sort of heartache, uh, but it is being transformed this week. And uh, whoever I'm picking up, uh, the guidance was to um, be gentle, be, be gentle with the situation, be gentle with yourself. So it feels as if kind of in a nutshell um some sort of disappointment that is going through change um i feel that you're being guided to apply uh, a bit of self-love a bit of self-kindness and a bit of self-compassion all right let's have a look and see what what your crowning messages are telling us my angels and spirit thank you oh wow attachment oh my gosh yeah so that makes total sense so whatever it is um you guys are going through at the moment there is an element of um attachment okay and that is possibly um what you're being guided to to let go all right um know that uh you guys are moving forward some sort of mask may have come down maybe seeing the reality of a situation that perhaps you didn't want to see and that's where i feel that that message of being gentle with yourself applying self-compassion self-love um is for you to kind of go easy on yourself because you may have felt attached to whoever or whatever the situation is that brought in some disappointment. Um, know that it's going through transformation, but do you know something? You guys are going through transformation because you're seeing um, that you need to detach and let go of something, all right? And of course, this could apply to anything, but it is a love reading. So um, definitely with whatever has upset you, um, it's time to let that go. Oh my gosh, look at that angel of love. That's the transformation that's coming in. I feel as if your spirit teams are coming in to say it's time to let something go in order for something new to come in. This is new love. This is new beginnings. Um, the transformation, I feel as if it's starting with you and it's also closing one door and opening another to let in this new love love also i also feel i mean look at the different colors of the cards one is in darkness and one is in color so many of you may have been in a very very dark place many of you may have gone through a bit of a dark night of the soul but it feels as if the transformation is that you're moving from that darkness into something that is more colorful um the <coughs> <clears throat> the rose quartz that this angel is holding um, does remind me of the, the pink reminds me of universal love. Your spirit team are coming in to say that you are greatly loved. There's a lot of love around you. You may not see it right now, but you are blossoming. You are growing because it feels as if you are now seeing something that you need to detach to something. De sorry, detach from something that has caused you um, quite a bit of upset or heartbreak. But it's you actually that's going through the transformation, all right? So be gentle with yourself as you go through that because it feels as if many of you are feeling as if like, um, you know, how could I, like, how did I not see this? How did I not see this coming? Um, like I said, uh, the mask is coming down. So go easy on yourselves, okay? But with that angel of love does represent a new beginning. So with regards to love, I feel that um, your spirit team are making room for um, something new to come in. And look at this indecision. It's like you are at a crossroads, at a crossroads um, with regards to which direction to go. Um, either kind of be in that kind of low vibrational energy Um as you kind of go through healing, go through the realization that you need to let something go, close one door and go uh, and allow divine spirit universe to open another door. Many of you may be feeling a little bit 
indecisive as to which direction to go. Um, I can only really focus on this beautiful angel of love. Love is all around you. Um, and I feel that um, you're being guided to detach, let go something and take the path that is going to be new, that is going to transform you, that is going to bring in love. Many of you may not know where this new love is coming from, but trust me, your spirit team know, but you almost need to take the action to let go something in order for them to bring something new in. Wow. All right, let's have a look at your crowning wisdom message. My angels and spirit guides of the divine, please can you tell me your crowning wisdom message to the question? How do thank you? Okay, so we've got two here. Oh wow, so ivory, um, ivory wish fulfilling crow um is a really really beautiful um uh, crowning wisdom, it feels like that needs to go here, crowning wisdom message that's come in. So the, cr the crow um, is, when you see the crow, the crow for me is about universal truth, okay? It's almost like, um, it's, it's almost like having that ability to um, travel into those dark places, but also be able to bring light into those dark places. Places, The story with the um, ivory wish-fulfilling crow is all about um, this magical kind of spirit that's in the form of a crow has been around since before time, okay? And it has that ability to weather all storm. So, you know, in the millions and billions of years where there were massive famine, massive plagues, um, the crow stood unwavered, okay? Um, this is some sort of tree, which is some sort of magical tree. And technically, it's like um, uh, the spirit its soul okay it, it the, the the crow sits on the truth it sits on um unwavering um in 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 times of adversity in times of trials and tribulations and it feels as if you're being guided to know that during this time of whatever darkness that you're in whatever disappointment something that you need to release and 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 let go you're going to overcome it okay because the truth of the matter is is that you do need to release something um know that love is all around you certainly divine love and this path that you are being guided to take um i feel as if um that is a truth a truth is that you are embarking on a new path that is if you want to take it all right but you've got to make the choice you are um i feel as if you have the free will but with this crow coming in wish fulfilling crow many of you may be manifesting um manifesting to get over come out of this darkness and move into more of a colorful chapter in your life um i feel that uh, that obstacle is moving. You're going to be unwavered. You will, um, you will push forward. Okay, with karma of Kutala, um, this is all about uh, your sacred uh, soul passion, which is powerful enough to shift the state of what is going on with you, um, your inner reality and your outer reality. So I feel that you're being guided to commit to what your heart is telling you and for many of you it is that basically the mask has come off the reality is that what you thought was um something that was um for you has turned out that it isn't okay you're seeing the reality of it um know that if you can stay true to your heart and move forward release what doesn't serve you take the path of kindness and gentleness to you okay that is where this new colorful chapter in your life will come from it almost feels as if um karma of Kutahala is all about you rising up, almost like the uh, phoenix rising. Um, and that is what, you know, with coming in with the uh, wish fulfilling crow, it's almost as if you will overcome this. It may not feel like it at this time, but you will overcome, okay? And as you listen to your heart, as you trust um, that 
it's time to let something go and so that you can let something in because don't forget you many of you are indecisive as to what direction to go um know that you will have genuine bliss okay no matter what appears to you you will prevail and you will rise up and it is very much the phoenix rising okay very very powerful very very powerful um, those two cards certainly with what you're going through so that tells me many of you may have really gone through a bit of a dark night of the soul okay over something that you thought was for you and it just it just turned out that it, it really wasn't the mask really really did come down okay so for those of you that i am picking up um if this message is resonating for you already, please feel free to click that thumbs up button on the video. Subscribe if you haven't done so. It really, really does help to push this video out um, to anyone who's really looking for a general collective weekly read. Um, and if you are uh, watching this on Instagram, please feel free to join me on YouTube and uh, check out your sun, moon, rising and Venus signs um, to get more of an in-depth message. For those of you that do decide to subscribe, um, it, it does enable you to receive those notifications of when I'm uploading new messages. And of course, it really does help to support the channel. So I do thank you in advance for your support and encouragement. Existing subscribers, welcome, welcome, welcome back. Thank you for all of your support, encouragement and donations. I am truly, truly grateful. Um, and I hope that you all get a useful and meaningful message out of this week's reading. Okay, let's go ahead and see how this is all relating uh, to you and your soulmate. My angels and spirit guides of the divine, please, can you tell me how does these soulmates of the collective feel towards them in love? Week commencing Monday the 11th of October through to Sunday the 17th of October 2021. What is their current energy spiritually, emotionally, mentally and physically towards the collective that I'm allowed to see for their highest good and for the greater good of all? Mm. As above so below and all around me thank you any of the cards that jumped out in the pre-shuffle whilst meditating for this reading if they come out on camera i will call them out for you okay all right let's do this let's see what's going on with you and your soul mate. my angels and spirit guides thank you okay wow so we've got the ten of wands we have the three of pentacles whoops we have the uh, knight of cups interesting so whoever you are connecting with um i feel as if they're burdened um by whatever situation that you're in okay the three of pentacles they definitely want to put the work in male or female the knight of cups uh, they're coming towards you with a solid offer coming towards you um with some sort of uh token of love okay wow okay and then we've got the ten wow okay so this person whoever you're connecting with i feel that you uh definitely want wanted or want to build a future with them okay you may have had to let that go okay um in order to make room or something you needed to let go within this connection um do you know, I'm getting a couple of messages here. I'm getting a couple of messages. Either many of you got involved with somebody that you thought was uh, the person that you was going to build a future with. But you may have had somebody in the background that like a friend, a, like a friend or a colleague who almost was like a bit of a confidant. And they may have watched you go through whatever you were going through with somebody that you wanted to build a future with. And um, and I feel as if it was quite burdened and burdensome for them. Do you know something? This, I mean, I, this is 
literally what is coming into my third eye right now none of these cards are explaining that but i'm just going to go with it many of you might have had two people that are interested in you and that's why this angel of love is all around you it feels as if you needed to let go something or someone that didn't serve your highest good the mask has finally come down and it feels as if once you let go of that person, this person is coming in who wants to put the work and has seen and witnessed what you're going through with another person. And it's actually been quite burdensome for them. And it feels like this is the person that you're going to end up wanting to build a future with. But the decision is yours. Wow. Wow. The nine of pentacles. So I feel male or female, whoever this person is, I feel as though they see you as somebody that's very attractive, um, very um, nurturing, very wise, very spiritual. Somebody that has created a, a really beautiful environment um, for themselves. I would say that this person has got a lot of respect for you particularly if they've witnessed something that you've gone through um, that was really disappointing for you. It almost feels as if this person wants to come in and kind of be that knight on, on that shining, that knight on a white and shining armor kind of thing. And that's that kind of energy that I'm picking up. It feels like this person uh, was in the background um, witnessing what you went through, if I'm being honest. And like I said, those that are tarot readers out there, none of these cards are telling me that. There's nothing telling me that this, apart from perhaps the three pentacles, where it could possibly represent uh, three, um, there were three people in this connection, but I don't see it like that. I see it that you didn't, you, you didn't realize or you don't realize that there is somebody else literally in the background, a friend, a confidant, a colleague that I would say that you talk to um, and they've witnessed what you've gone through. They've witnessed um, the upset, the disappointment. They may have even wit witnessed you going through this really dark period in your life. And that is why Angel of Love is, is right, literally, I'm just getting it. They're right, it's right in the center of your crowning messages. It's like by you making the choice of letting somebody go that did not serve your higher purpose, you're, you're actually um, opening the door for this other person that you know that you have, that you, that they've been a confidant to you, okay? Um, you're opening the door for them to come in. So literally, um, for those that I'm reading for, it is literally like as soon as that door closes and you make that decision to let go what didn't serve you, detach yourself from that, like along comes this person. Whatever they have watched you go through, um, it, it burdens them, okay? It's like they felt your burden. Wow. Wow. Oh, oh, look at that. And the Ace of uh, Swords, a new beginning. A new beginning based on truth. And look at the hand, it's coming in from this person. Look at those two hands. They're coming in with love, unconditional love for you. Um, and they're coming in with nothing but the truth. So, you know something, they, so this confirms to me, this is somebody that you're quite comfortable talking to, okay, but it also uh, represents that, like, this person may come in and say, do you know something, you deserve something better, they may even come in and have a conversation and let you know that actually they've got feelings for you. And that is the truth. And it feels as if with the ivory wishing, uh, wish fulfilling crow, they may have been the one that was manifesting that you put down this burden, release, detach from something um, that didn't serve you and choose a path to walk away and be open to a new beginning, a new love. And they may actually discuss that with you, um, those that I'm reading for. Oh, my days yeah wow let's uh let's get some clarifiers oh 
Thank you. Okay, so with the uh, Five of Swords here, I feel whoever this new person is that wants to come in, um, I feel like they just want um, all this heartache that you're going through. They want you to put it behind you, basically. I feel that they feel the burden that you're going through. You talk to this person. It feels as if this person is a confidant. They want you to put it behind you, put the battle of this attachment, something that really, really disappointed you and um, basically trigger that um, transform, um, transformation of healing. Make the decision to walk away Focus on yourself. Do you remember what I was saying in your channeled message? Be gentle with yourself. Many of you may like kind of beat yourself up over it, you know, that you should have done this or you should have done that. No, it feels as if um, you were meant to almost kind of cut the cord. Um, whatever it is that really upset you, disappointed you, okay, um, that triggered this transformation, I genuinely feel as if it was to bring in or help you appreciate what true love feels like, the truth of what true love is, and you will rise up, you will rise up, they want you to put this person behind them, behind you, sorry, and look at that, the two of, um, the two of wands, this person, A, knows that you're at a crossroads, you, they know that you're being indecisive, um, but also as well, they are at a crossroads because they know until they know that until you put this past person that upset you, this past person that you're being guided to release, until you put that behind you, they can't make a move towards you. Hence why their energy, their back is towards you. Wow. Thank you. And I feel with that nine of um, swords in reverse... Those of you that I am reading for, I would say um, that this person, um, I, I would say that they are almost kind of like a little bit like fearful, um, hoping, hoping um, that you will see that, how can I put this, by, by releasing what didn't serve you, okay, making a decision to release this person, to put it behind you and move forward. It's almost as if they're trying to, um, they're hoping, wishing, praying, okay, that you will take, um, that you will have this revelation. You will um, see the situation that you're currently in, that you've got to let go, that you'll see it from an objective viewpoint. And it almost feels as if they want to uh, put the work to help you see that if that me if that makes sense and that may be through conversations it's almost as if they kind of want you to kind of take the higher ground rise up see something from a different perspective and make that final swift that final cut make that decision to completely detach from this person okay to see things from um a different perspective and it feels like they want to help you on that journey if that makes sense sounds a little bit ironic actually but it doesn't feel um their energy doesn't feel like um slimy if that makes sense because like i i'm i'm saying this like they want you to see whatever it is you need to let go they want you to have um like a rational objective viewpoint so if you are going and speaking to this person that you haven't even got a clue um actually has got a lot of love for you um it feels as if um, you could be talking to them about you know you should have done this or you wish you could have done that or you should have seen this it's like you beating up yourself you're expressing it to this person um but you don't know that they actually have got this love for you. They're not talking about their love for you. And that's why they want to put in the work or they want to help you on this journey of um, being objective. Like it doesn't feel like it was all you, if that makes sense. And it feels as if they're like going to shine that light. Like, that's why your channeled message was like, be gentle with yourself. It feels like this person is part of your healing process to help you. Um, 
not make the decision because the decision is yours but not to beat yourself up about it like oh i wish i should have seen it like this or i should have done that or why didn't i see this you know that kind of be gentle with yourself apply some uh, self-compassion some self-kindness this person if they want to help you do that be kind to yourself basically my angels and spirit guides of the divine Please, can you clarify, how does the soulmates of the collective feel towards them in love? Thank you. Yeah, look at that. It's, it's, it's to help you put down the burden. They want to help. They want to put the work in to help you talk through this, rationalise it, process, so that you can put down the burden. Yeah? Yeah? It feels like they know that that's their job at the moment. They can't come towards you, take any action towards you right now with that two of wands because you're still processing. You're still at the indecisive stage of letting whatever hurt you or whoever hurt you, letting them go, detaching yourself. Let's continue. Thank you. Oh, gosh, that's a lot of cards. Yeah. So this person, they're helping you on your healing. OK, helping you on your healing to put down this um, burden. And I, they're going to be victorious in, in helping you. OK, um, this is victory after deep, deep healing. Um, but also it feels they this person knows that you're spiritually distant. You know, um, you're spiritually distant. I would say that many of you don't know that this person has got all this love for you. Like you just see them as a friend, a confidant, somebody that you can trust, somebody that you can talk to. And it's like they intuitively know that that's what they need to be there for you. That's, that's how, that's the capacity in which they need to be there for you. Many of you could be different um, backgrounds, locations, but spiritually you're definitely, 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 um, distant, disconnected, but it's because they see you going through great healing, okay, and I feel that they're going to be quite victorious, because this person does want to rush in, they want to rush in and almost kind of like look after you, if that makes sense, and look at that, your victory and your happiness, angel of love, uh, is with this person, it almost feels as if they are your knight in shining armor and it's somebody that um, your spirit team have brought in. So many of you may not realize that, that there is somebody around you that's in the background. Many of you, I feel that you do talk to them. They are like a best friend or a confidant, somebody that you can express and you don't feel threatened or you can just go for gold uh, chatting to this person. But I feel that they secretly just love you. Could be dealing with the Leo. You could have Leo in your chart. Oh, and look at that. This person is coming towards you. And look at that. It's the same Ace of Swords. They're coming towards you with nothing but the truth. And that is that they want to build a future with you. You may have seen yourself building a future with this other person that you've got to release. They're coming in victorious, prosperous happiness to speak their truth, to let you know that they want to build a future with you. And look at that. The, the king of um, the king of um, coins, pentacles. This person is grounded, solid. Um, they're ready for long term commitment, marriage. So not only do they want something serious with you, not only do they want something that's based on truth, a new beginning for you based on truth, but they've got all this love for you. And I feel that, look, they are indecisive. They themselves are indecisive of when to take action towards you because they know that you're going through Look at that, going through heartache and you're going through healing. Oh my God, I cannot even make it up. Oh my God, I cannot even make it up. I had these cards in my hands here and I wasn't really looking at them. So my um, my intuition of, there's, there's definitely uh, a couple of people in this whole scenario. The person that I feel that the mask has come down, that you're seeing something that you didn't see before, um, 
and it's really disappointed you. It's created a lot of heartbreak for you because I feel that they are the person that you thought that you was going to be building a future with. And actually who you're going to be building a future with is this new person, somebody that um, is um, around you at the moment that is like a confidant, okay? Um, and you're going to be victorious. But they are a little bit um and in um in whether they should approach you because they know you're going through heartache, 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 major heartache, and you're going through healing. It's almost like you're uh, you're processing, you're processing at the moment what what's gone down with you and the person that I feel many of you are going to finally release, rising up from the ashes. Let's clarify uh, the bonus card of that Ace of Swords. My angels and spirit guides of the divine, please can you clarify? How does these soulmates of the collective feel towards them in love? Week commencing Monday the 11th of October through to Sunday the 17th of October 2021. What is their current energy spiritually, emotionally, mentally and physically towards the collective that I'm allowed to see? Thank you. OK, so we've got the uh, page of swords in reverse. So I feel as if um, this person, they want to come in and they want to um, obviously uh, speak they want it, they want a new beginning they want you to take take the road that takes you on a new beginning a more colorful chapter in your life that is based on truth of someone that loves you i.e. them uh with this page of swords coming in reverse here i feel as if this person is possibly doubting whether or not you will choose the path to that colourful new future, which is what that gives them the inroad to come in and let you know how they feel. And it also feels as if um, they can't clear up how they feel about you. They can't let you know right now um, uh, that they have a lot of love for you. And notice one, two swords here. Oh my God, one, two and three swords. So it feels as if this person... Uh, well, I first of all saw the two swords, so it feels as if they know that a conversation needs to be had with the two of you, but they can't have it right now because you are going through healing, okay? And seeing you going through this burden, one, two, three swords is actually breaking their heart. It's like they want to come in and help you, you know, and how can I put this? They know that they can't influence your decision. It has to be something that is of your own will and your own choice. But it almost feels as if they're a little bit frustrated, a little bit impatient, so to speak, to let you know that actually they've got a lot of feelings for you. But they're going to help you. And look at that. The Knight of Pentacles. Uh, so you've got the Knight of Pentacles and the King of Pentacles. So it feels that this person is going to come towards you with all this love, very slow and steady, very, very slow and steady. Um, it almost feels as if the two of you will like, I don't feel the two of you are going to like get together like straight away or anything. It could be something that could be way in the future because they're co co both coming in as knights but I feel the end goal is to be that king, to be that solid person that you build a future with. But they're going to come towards you very, very slow and steady. This person is very, very patient, even though they're feeling frustrated um, that they can't express to you uh, how they feel. But they want nothing but a new beginning for you that is based on truth, that is based on unconditional love, which quite frankly, they feel that they are the person that can give that to you, which is really lovely to have somebody, it almost feels as if um, those that I am reading for, it feels like this person is like your earth angel, you know, it's like whatever happens, um, it's like the two of you will weather the storm together, and it's like they, their love, their truth is unwavering, unwavering, 
So actually, it could be them that will rise up. But it feels as if you will rise up. You will rise up from the ashes. And it almost feels as if your life is going to be totally transformed uh, once you make the decision to release something that does not serve you. Wow. All right, let's have a look at your advice. Wow, okay. First card out is practice speaking positively about other people and events and especially the future. So I feel that what you're being guided to do as you go through this realisation, um, as that mask falls down, uh, I feel that you're being guided to speak positively about yourself. So remember I said in that channeled message that I was picking up to be for you to be gentle to yourself. Really, really be mindful of what you say, okay? So if you blame yourself in some shape, form or another, or you feel insecure, it was something that you felt that you done, uh, try and get yourself out of that energy, okay? Um, Talk positively about yourself. Talk positively about the situation. Try and see it as a learning, as somebody uh, that brought you some sort of learning, some sort of um, something that you were supposed to see. Um, and it may be for you to see your self-worth, okay? Um, and as you speak that positivity, that's what you are almost co-creating with Divine Spirit Universe. That's where you're going to rise up. And that is where I feel that your person, that this person that you're, your, your confidant or a friend um, is, is almost going to, it, it almost feels as if it's going to give them some kind of hope, okay, that you're going to make the right decision based on what is good for you, all right? Not being influenced, but it's like, and like I said, they want you to sit with that uh, page of swords in reverse. They want you to see things from an objective viewpoint because it feels as if it wasn't, it, 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 it wasn't all you, you know, whoever you are connecting with, they may have wore a false mask. Um, and for whatever reason, now your, your, your mask has come down in terms of you're seeing the reality of what this person was like uh the past person that i that you're being guided to detach and let go so practice speaking positively about other people but also about yourself oh look at that soften and open back into love all day long and I feel that that is talking about applying that gentleness that I said that I picked up in your channeled message, but also um, also um, being open, open to uh, new love, open to uh, love for self, um, being gentle, compassionate and kind to oneself, loving oneself first. And as time goes on, I feel that many of you will open back to love in terms of a romantic love. But you're in this healing and I feel that you're being guided that as whilst you're in this healing, just speak positively. Try and keep your vibration up. And trust me, I know it's not as easy. It's, it's easier said than done. But I feel that you're being guided to let this new colourful chapter in your life of love um, come in. Okay. Um, and I feel that you will once you've risen up, the phoenix rising up from the ashes. Let's continue, please. I feel like this card wanted to come out. Take time to acknowledge the subtle changes in your spiritual evolution. What was I saying? Um, that this person, whoever it is that you've got to release... Like I said, um, I'm sure that's what I said. It almost feels as if you're being guided um, to see the, the lesson that they have brought you. And it feels as if the lesson that they are bringing you is self-love, um, self-compassion, self-kindness, being gentle with yourself. When something doesn't serve you, and even though you have a lot of love for somebody, um, even though... Everything is indicating that you need to release and let go. Sometimes um, the mind still holds on. The body sometimes is ready to let go, but the mind um, still holds on to that 
building a future with that person. Um, and, and what you technically do is where you don't allow divine spirit universe to kind of, how could I put it? Sweep away what doesn't serve you by making a decision to release something that doesn't serve you. Um, what happens is, is that you, you kind of block or you delay um, the beautiful blessings that that your spirit team and divine spirit universe, your higher self, want to bless you with. And for many of you, it is a new love. It is a colourful new chapter in your life. But ultimately, you've got to make the decision what direction you go in, okay? So I feel that you're being guided to acknowledge the journey that you are on and by speaking positively trying to see things from an object objective viewpoint not blaming yourself or not thinking you know you could have done more or you should have seen it sooner it almost feels as if actually what did you what 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 knowledge and wisdom did you gain from that and it almost feels as if like draw a sand in it, you know, draw a line in the sand and just kind of like it is what it is. I just have to be grateful for the experience I'm now releasing and I'm just wishing and praying that my spirit team, divine spirit universe, my higher self will bring in um, this new love, um, a new sense, a, a new lease on, on self-love um, in order for me to take that chapter walk that chapter, walk that path that's going to bring in this beautiful, um, colourful future uh, that you want for yourselves. And just in case you didn't get that, that was like me stepping into your energy. Like, that's kind of what, you know, if I were you, that's like what I would be saying to my spirit team, divine spirit universe. That's what I want. You know, even though it's hard, help me to see um, what I need to see. Um to detach, to release, and to move forward in in, in trust and faith um, that they will open the door for a new beginning. All right, well, I'm going to leave that there. That was a very, very profound uh, message, um, just in the way that it came out, to be fair. Um, but uh, I hope it does resonate. If it does, please feel free to click that thumbs up button on the video. Subscribe if you haven't done so already. Until next time, I'm sending you all loads and loads of love, peace and light. You take care. Bye bye.